Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about types of white canes, the constructions you can get, and the different materials you can get with them. Part of getting a white cane is the tip, which is super important, and so if you're curious about that, I have also another video, and the link is down below. So without further ado, I'm going to start by talking about the types of white canes that are out there. The ID cane is a short type of cane meant for people who can basically navigate without any kind of mobility aid visually, but if they want something that helps them be identified as a person with a visual impairment. ID canes are lightweight and short and very easy to maneuver. For these kinds of canes, I definitely recommend maybe a telescoping or a folding, something that you can make compact and carry with you if you really only want it in new situations. Second is the guide cane. Now the guide cane is basically just a step above an ID cane. It's again short, it's held at the waist in front of a person, and you just put it right out in front of you, and it's used to find stairs, curves, and obstacles directly in front of someone. It's another perfect thing for people who might have enough vision to orientate visually, who can see most obstacles and things like that, but still want that identification as someone with low vision, and want just a little bit of help on some things. Third is the more typical probing cane, long cane, white cane, mobility cane. There are so many names for it. And basically it's what you think of when you think of a regular cane. They kind of vary in length from chest level to even above your head. It's more a personal preference of which length you prefer. These canes are used, you swipe them back and forth. Someone using absolutely no vision can be independent and go everywhere and anywhere with that kind of cane and there are so many different variations. The rest of this video, I'm gonna be talking about probing long canes. Next, I'm going to talk about the different cane constructions that you can get, starting with the straight cane. So the straight cane is one of the most popular kinds of constructions. You can't fold or make it more compact, but you get a lot more tactile feedback. They tend to be a little bit lighter just because different kinds of materials can hold up with them. Some of the cool things is that they are a little bit more flexible so they can kind of slide under cars versus um, ramming and bending. They are very durable. There's no thread in the middle. So again, that helps with making them lighter and giving you more feedback. This is something I would recommend more to people who are planning on using their cane full time all the time. When you go to restaurants, a lot of people will put them in the hole of the chair. When you're in an airplane, you kind of slide it or in a car, slide it along the length of the car. Um, there's a lot of different techniques, so it's totally doable to have one of these. But if you're really looking for something to just help you out once in a while, probably not the best cane for you. Um, with this construction, there are almost no limitations to which materials you can choose. You can get fiberglass, graphite, carbon fiber. The one I have here is a fiberglass, and this is from the National Federation of the Blind. And I have a metal glide tip on the end. So these kinds of canes are really common to see a straight cane with a metal glide because they are so versatile. So with the straight cane, a lot of flexibility, very popular and great feedback. Second, I'm gonna be talking about the folding cane. So the folding cane is probably another one of the top most popular ones just because it has a lot of the same qualities of the straight cane except that you can make it smaller. They can be made out of aluminum and graphite is very popular. The one I have here is an aluminum cane and it folds up into four pieces. Different folding canes can fold, I've seen from four to eight different pieces. And the more pieces, the smaller it gets. So my aluminum one is extremely heavy duty. It's very heavy at the same time though. And I also have a high mileage ball tip, which adds to the weight quite a bit. So while you can make them smaller and they might be easier to stow, the flip side is that depending on the material, they can end up being a lot heavier. Um, you get less feedback because the way folding canes work is that they are threaded. There is a thread that runs through the entire length of the cane and there's a lot of tension. So then when I release the pieces, they snap right into place. Because of that thread though, it does limit some of the tactile feedback you get and it also changes the way that the tip goes onto the cane. Um, I think for the better because the way that the tip goes onto a threaded cane is with a hook, as you can see here, and you hook it on. Um, and the benefit of this kind of tip attachment style is that it's very, very difficult to come off. My, I've never had an issue with the tip coming off before. On other kinds of canes, there are new systems coming up with slip-ons like the bullet tips. 
and bullet tips have new technologies to help keep them on better, but the hook style is one of the most re reliable ones. Um, but overall, it's a great cane. You can get just about any tip with folding canes. They really won't splinter or break because of the tip. They tend to be pretty durable. Um, depending on the material, you can really control the weight and also the ease of separation because sometimes when you have it out all day, they get harder to separate. But again, there's new things coming out that are making it easier and having a graphite versus an aluminum cane also helps with that. Next, I'm going to talk about the telescoping cane, which is another popular option for people who are looking for a part-time cane. Telescoping canes probably fold up to be the most compact of all the different constructions. They can get all the way up to uh, between eight and 11 inches in length, and basically just the normal width of a cane. They're typically made out of fiberglass, um, maybe graphite. They're not very durable just because of the way they are. They're smaller, they're lighter, they're more fragile. So there's a lot of tips that you cannot use. I'd say that the heaviest kind of tip you could use would be a marshmallow or a marshmallow marshmallow roller, but even then you might risk splintering your cane at that weight of a tip. But on the bright side, you can really, really easily stick it in a purse um, and barely feel it having it with you. Um, some of the other issues is that sometimes you can be walking with them and they'll just snap close. Um, like I said, the, the end might start to splinter. Um, they could break for a number of things. So it's just good to kind of be aware of how reliant are you on this cane realistically? And if you are very reliant on it, if you have um, severe nighttime blindness, and if you're stuck outside with a cane that breaks on you, if that's gonna be a huge issue, maybe go with an eight piece graphite folding cane instead. Finally, I'm going to talk about the two piece telescoping cane. Now, it's one of the lesser known types of canes, and if you would like to learn everything there is to know about one, I also have a video I made about one that I got on accident, um, and that link is in the description down below. But for a brief overview, um, basically, the cane, the length of the cane can vary from one to three feet depending on the cane you get. And it's in two pieces. So one piece fits inside of the other and um, and that is what that's what it means two piece. So it doesn't really fold to any more than I'd say three feet. Um, so it's not very compact. Um, they come more in graphite. There again, you can't really have a very heavy tip on it. Again, a marshmallow might be too heavy. I'd recommend more of a metal glide or a ceramic. Um, depending on your preferences, but their main use that I've kind of come up with is maybe for training purposes because the length is so adjustable or for demonstration purposes. Um, their main advantage is that they are so easy, you, you can do um, any length between that, for example, three feet and six feet, you can have that cane in anywhere in between. For those purposes but as an everyday or even as a part-time cane um, i would not really recommend going for it one caveat i do have is that i personally purchased it on accident i wanted a regular telescoping cane um, but the website was not very clear so for you when you're looking for your cane make absolutely certain and check before you buy it to make sure you're getting the right one that you want now i'm going to talk about the different cane materials you can get now, this is really important because the materials depend on the construction you want. They'll allow different kinds of tips. They will um, incur different types of tactile feedback and weight. So make sure that when you're picking a material, you are paying attention to what you're getting. So first is aluminum. And so again, here's my aluminum folding cane. Aluminum is um, really only used for folding canes just because it's so heavy that there's no reason um, to use it for anything else. It is the more heavy duty of the different cane materials. It can handle any type of, of tip, including this ball tip, which is probably the heaviest kind of tip that you'll, you'll see. There's always a trade-off. The more weight, the less feedback. So very heavy, very durable, but you get a little bit less tactile feedback. Now, personally, difference between tips, different tips still affected my feedback, and I still do get a pretty decent amount through here. Like, I can pretty easily identify what kind of pavement I'm on with this, but you definitely don't get quite as much sensitivity. It's also pretty difficult to do a two-point touch with this kind of cane, so probably only constant contact. And for that reason, if you are choosing to go with an aluminum folding cane, I would really only recommend doing so if you want a larger tip like I have here. And the reason you might want a larger tip is for cracks, cobblestones, grass, difficult textures that smaller tips can't handle. So that's the aluminum cane. 
Next is the graphite material. Graphite can be used in basically any kind of cane, folding straight, telescoping, or two-piece telescoping. My two-piece telescoping cane was actually made out of graphite, and it kind of felt like plastic to me. So to give you an idea of what graphite is like, it is lighter than aluminum, it's very popular, it's really popular in folding canes especially, and it's a great material to use for a lightweight folding cane. Since it is a lighter material, it can still handle some tips, so probably a marshmallow or a rolling marshmallow. It would also be a good option for both a two-point touch and a constant contact cane technique. For folding canes, having graphite makes it much easier to separate the different pieces of the cane, um, and it would also make a great material for both a part-time and a full-time cane user. Third, I'm going to talk about fiberglass material canes. So the one I have right here is a straight fiberglass cane. It feels just like fiberglass, like a very rigid plastic. It will give that nice effect of the straight cane of sliding under some obstacles like cars. It's pretty durable and to me, I'd say, again, a marshmallow tip would probably work um, pretty well with a fiberglass um, on a straight cane. Uh, I could even see maybe heavier canes on a straight fiberglass cane. Fiberglass can be used for straight, telescoping, or folding canes. It's a very versatile material, and like graphite, it's very lightweight. You get a lot of tactile feedback. It's another very popular one, uh, especially you see it in straight canes. And finally is the carbon fiber cane. So carbon fiber feels metallic, a lot like um, like the aluminum cane, but a lighter version. I've only seen carbon fiber used in straight canes, but it's starting to take off a little bit more. It's pretty new on the scene, but it has a lot of potential, I think, because you get a lot of the durability of the aluminum cane with some of the flexibility and lightweight and tactile feedback of some of the lighter canes like a fiberglass. So it's definitely an interesting one if you want to try out some new things. I know that NFB was beta testing with them, so you might have to look around to actually get one um, that you're looking for, but it's a great new material on the scene. Thanks so much for watching. Again, if you are interested in kink tips, which are just as important as all the other things I talked about, be sure to check out my video in the description down below. If you want to check out my blog, it is at www.wordpress.easiervision.com. I also have an Instagram at easiervision or send me an email at easiervision at gmail.com and I will see you guys next time.